Once upon a time, in a small town shrouded in mystery, there existed a team of paranormal investigators known as the Ghosts Finders. Led by the fearless and enigmatic Dr. Emily Blackwood, this team was renowned for their ability to uncover the truth behind supernatural occurrences. Their latest mission would take them to the infamous Waverly Hills Sanatorium, a place rumored to be haunted by the tormented souls of its past. As the team arrived at the imposing building, they were greeted by an eerie silence that seemed to hang in the air. The dilapidated walls whispered tales of suffering and despair, and the wind howled through the broken windows, creating an unsettling symphony. Dr. Blackwood, undeterred by the ominous atmosphere, led her team inside. The Waverly Hills Sanatorium had a dark history. It was once a place where tuberculosis patients were sent to die, their lives consumed by the merciless disease. The building had witnessed countless deaths, and it was said that the spirits of the deceased still roamed its halls, trapped in a perpetual state of anguish. As the ghosts finders ventured deeper into the sanatorium, they encountered strange phenomena. Doors slammed shut on their own, disembodied whispers echoed through the corridors, and cold spots sent shivers down their spines. The team pressed on, determined to uncover the truth behind the paranormal activity. Dr. Blackwood's team consisted of four individuals, each possessing unique skills. There was Alex, the tech expert who could detect electromagnetic anomalies, Sarah, the empath who could sense the emotions of spirits, Mark, the historian who could unravel the secrets hidden within the building's past, and finally, Jake, the skeptic who provided a grounded perspective to their investigations. As they explored the sanatorium, the team began to experience increasingly terrifying encounters. Shadows darted across the walls, apparitions appeared and vanished in an instant, and the air grew heavy with an otherworldly presence. The line between the living and the dead blurred, and the ghosts finders found themselves caught in a battle against forces they could not fully comprehend. Dr. Blackwood's determination never wavered. She knew that to understand the spirits that haunted Waverly Hills, she had to delve into the darkest corners of the sanatorium's history. With Mark's expertise, they uncovered a hidden secret, a doctor who had conducted cruel experiments on the patients, prolonging their suffering for his own sadistic pleasure. Armed with this knowledge, the ghosts finders devised a plan to confront the malevolent spirits. They set up an array of equipment to capture evidence, hoping to communicate with the tormented souls and offer them solace. As the night wore on, the team's resolve was tested, but they refused to back down. In the final moments of their investigation, the spirits unleashed their full fury. The team was thrown into a whirlwind of terror, their senses overwhelmed by the vengeful energy that permeated the sanatorium. But Dr. Blackwood, with her unwavering determination, managed to establish a connection with the spirits. Through her empathic abilities, Sarah sensed the immense pain and anger that had consumed the spirits for decades. Dr. Blackwood, with tears streaming down her face, pleaded with the tormented souls to find peace and let go of their suffering. Slowly, the energy in the room began to dissipate, and the spirits faded away, finally finding release. As the ghosts finders left Waverly Hills Sanatorium, they knew they had made a difference. The spirits that had haunted the building for so long could finally rest. Dr. Blackwood and her team had faced their greatest challenge yet, and emerged victorious. Their story would be told for generations to come, a testament to the power of courage, determination, and the unyielding pursuit of truth. The Ghosts Finders had proven that even in the face of the supernatural, humanity's spirit could prevail.